All right, here we go. After you play Buggin' and I played a game of the event, pretty freaking cool. Not gonna lie, I love the event. It's sick. Great, great way to uh, to introduce something new like this. I hope this stays forever. Um, if you don't know, it's a TDM kill confirm. It's uh, it's pretty sweet. But that's not why we're here right now. Let's uh, we got the thirty-two packs. Um, we obviously we know what the uniforms are, but if you think about it, there's twenty of them. Because uh, the headgears and uniforms for each operator, we know those. But there's 10 others. I hope it's the weapon skins that I have not seen yet. And I hope they're sweet. I'm assuming the other two are going to be charms. But without further ado, let's see what these things actually are. Alright, for the first one. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, so if I had to guess that um, this is not a universal weapon skin, then it's going to be for each gun. Which, uh... Which, I don't think it's bad. Uh, it's 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 definitely nice. I do enjoy it. I was going to get it anyway if it was the universal one that's going to appear in the shop. But it does not look like it. So, let's hop into the next so we got the legendaries. This is probably going to be one of the headgears. Got Kiapitiao. Right here. The first of the Muppets that we are going to receive here. Kiapitiao's weapon. Not too bad, not too bad. And another one. No man. Yeah, well, we, we basically all knew um, what was going to come from these packs. So, I'm just here to showcase if somehow somebody didn't see them all or whatnot. And I want to just give my opinion on these packs as well. At the end here, um, here's one of the charms. Alright, alright, alright. Not too bad. The Nomad to complete her uniform. We got the next head here. Ella. Okay. We got Nomad's weapon skin. We got good old castle. Frosty. This is definitely gonna be a quicker video because again, it's not really much of a surprise for any of us as we all, like a lot of us do know what's already in it. And they're basically all repeats. Right? It's all the same stuff basically. Nothing like super out of the ordinary uh, for each. Go, yup. And the next weapon skin. I think the last weapon skin I got was a universal skin, if I'm not mistaken. Like the one before the castle? We're gonna go check that out after. I think there was a universal skin. But I'm not 100% sure. Here's the castle uniform. We got... Yeah, it definitely was because we got this... This one already, this gun. So it was a uniform. Or it was a universal. So we're going to go look at that in a second, but not too bad. Okay. Another weapon. That's Goyo's Vector. Or Mirrors, I guess. The next weapon of choice. Zofia. Got good old Pulse. Alright. Got IQ. Goyu's head. Zofia's uniform. Pulse's uniform. Ermite's uniform. Uh, Capitao's uniform. Alright. The next weapon skin, Ella's shotgun. The IQ headgear. The FBI and Ace shotgun. And I think this is the last one of Ella's uniform. 
All right, let's go take a look at that um, weapon skin real quick. Sorry, that not my pen. Uh, let's just go on Ash. Okay. There was the universe. This one. Okay, I think this is the universal one. Pretty sure. Does it say battle fabric? Oops. Yeah, seasonal. Yeah. Really? Greg. Okay. So this is the universal one. Um, that I thought didn't know there was. Not bad. This is definitely the best uh one in the game. Um, so I don't want to come off wrong. I do enjoy the events that Ubisoft play out. I do like the content, but I can't be the only one that thinks there was a lack of effort in this event. I understand due to the restrictions of the pandemic and all that stuff, but like let's let's just take a quick look here for a second. Uh who was who was someone I was in? IQ, okay? Let's just let's just equip her uniform for a second. Okay. There. Let's now let's uh how do we showcase her as Someone in here? Yeah. This is the uniform that all five op all ten operators got in this event. It's pretty much the exact same, right? There's really the only difference is be, to make the operators look like they're operators. There wasn't. I don't see that there was much effort put into that, right? Like there's, it's just all the same, and it's it's a little disappointing. And and again, like the gun skins. Yep, that's the universal one. Where's the individual one? Yeah, that's it. Every skin is the same. I don't know. Like they were just they're just complete duplicates. I again I hate to be I, I hate talking shit about it because I greatly appreciate what they do for us and bring out regular content, new cosmetics and all this. It's just I feel they've done a lot better and obviously the stuff is slowly inclining. But hey, what are you gonna do? It could be because of the restrictions, maybe not. I don't know. Either way, thanks UB for the great events. The gameplay is awesome. I highly suggest everyone goes and plays it. And yeah, but that is pretty much all for me. It's a very short one, obviously. There wasn't much to review or, uh, or I guess surprise anyway, thanks to all the leaks that happened and stuff like that. But yeah, so I guess uh, hopefully we'll see you guys sooner than the next seasonal pack opening but take care have a great event guys have a great halloween see you guys later peace